Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. Now, February will be an exciting month. There's the Super Bowl. Romance is in the air all month long. Now, here's what that means for your sign. Venus squares Jupiter on February 4th. Capricorn, the month begins on a quiet note, but picks up on the 4th when an early Venus-Jupiter square sets the mood for parties and indulgence. Now, Venus is in the second house of resources. Now, she may inspire you to go shopping, <laughs> especially if you have a little extra money. But the square to Jupiter in the 11th house of associates warns you to maintain your boundaries. Your friends or even social situations may tempt you to be excessive and perhaps overly generous. So watch your wallet. Venus enters Pisces on February 10th, just in time for Valentine's Day. Capricorn, Venus enters Pisces, the sign where she is exalted, and your third house of the mind on the 10th. This energy can bring a new sensitivity to your mind. You may see subtle nuances of meanings that you missed before because your psychic abilities are enhanced. Say what you mean and mean what you say and don't make promises you can't keep. You may find love in the library or on a short trip. Mars squares Neptune on February 17th. Capricorn, Neptune in your third house of communications sensitizes your mind to subtle energies, so keep your daily routine simple. New and unusual ideas may come your way, so look out for the truth. <laughs> His square to Mars in the 12th house of limitations warns you to be selective in what you say to others. Secrets need to remain secret. Your intuitive sense and your logical mind might not be in sync. <laughs> if you need to, seek out a trusted advisor. Before going on to the Sun-Saturn sextile, I'd like to remind you that you can learn how to develop your own psychic and spiritual abilities. Just order a copy of my book, The Art of the Mystic. It's on ProfessorAstrology.com. The Sun sextile Saturn on February 25th. Capricorn, the sun transiting your third house of learning, helps you maintain a clear mind and a logical approach. Travel and communication should keep you very busy. This is a great time to start a new course of study, especially in the areas of computers or science. Saturn transiting the first house of personality reminds you to focus your emotional energy to your most important goals. You are building a structure that will bring you a future foundation. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. If you are interested in a personal chart or psychic reading, just go to my website, ProfessorAstrology.com, to the Spiritual and Psychic Readings page, and that's where you can order a chart based on your time, date, and place of birth or you'll find my contact information for a psychic reading. Now again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Remember to share these videos with your friends because they're free. <laughs> and please subscribe. Have a great month.